Hey guys, how's it going? We are here in Phoenix today, and I'm doing a uh, corrosion class this week. And we've set up a quick experiment here for my students. They're actually on break at the moment. So I'm gonna walk you guys through what we have going on here exactly. So this in front of us is a rectifier. A rectifier is a device that takes an AC, volt, AC, AC power coming in and converts it into DC power coming out. Um, it's being fed by this right here, 120 volts AC at 60 Hertz, you know, standard household power. Uh, going into our rectifier, the rectifier has inside of it what's called a diode bridge or a uh, rectifier bridge, rectifier stack, they refer to it a lot here. Um, basically, it's made up of four diodes, and those four diodes are what do the work of converting your AC power into your DC. Uh, if you're not familiar with the diode, it's basically a check valve for electrical current and allows electrical current to go through one way but not the other way. And so using four of those, we're able to take our AC that periodically changes directions of current flow and convert it into a DC that has just one direction of current flow. So from that 120 volts AC we have going in, right now we have about 32 volts DC and about one amp of DC coming out of this thing. So we got that. Um, coming off of the negative terminal here, right? Negative would be where our electrons would be coming from on this thing. We can follow it through. On the back side here, we have a, have a resistor in place. Follow the resistor the rest of the way around, and we come to our bath that we're using here to simulate the corrosion process. Now, in the field, this would be where we would have our pipe for these guys. These guys do corrosion protection on piping systems. That's what they use their rectifiers for. So this would be simulating our pipe here. We have a steel rod that we just got at Home Depot. We found the worst one that they have with a little bit of rust on it. And we have our negative coming through hooked up to that. So we are bringing electrons from our DC power supply through the black wire onto our steel there in the bath. Uh, in the bath we have sodium carbonate that we're using as our electrolyte. Um, that is taking the place of what would be the ground for these guys if this was actually out in the field again. They would have their steel pipe running underground and in the ground you would have the water, the hydrogen, and the oxygen that acts as their um, electrolyte. For us we're using sodium bicarbonate to simulate that. Then you have zinc over here which we're using as our anode. So the steel side is the cathode, this side is the anode. The anode comes out via the positive terminal of our rectifier and goes back into here. So, that's the basic setup that we have here for these guys. And uh, at the moment, if you didn't notice, it is working surprisingly well. We've had this thing going for maybe an hour or so and you can see the anode there and you can also see our cathode. And both are very active. So, we're gonna let this run for a little bit longer and we'll see what kind of noticeable change we get when it's all said and done.